Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how you can export Sinti models from Unity to Blender, modify them in Blender and then re-export them into Unity. I start with a simple static model and then I show you how you can export character models because there are some pitfalls you have to be aware of. So let's hop over into Unity. Okay, let's start to export this lamp that I prepared in the scene. We are using a tool called FBX Exporter. Go to the package manager or you can also go to window and then package manager. Go to the Unity registry and select FBX Exporter and then install the FBX Exporter. Go back to the scene. Now select the lamp in the hierarchy and you will get the option to export to FBX. You get this pop-up, you can select an export name and a path. The path has to be in the assets folder somewhere. I created a subfolder for Blender and Unity exports. Then make sure to select as an export format the binary and not the ASCII. I only select the models and not the animations. Put the object position to the local pivot and then export. Now in my export folder I have this FBX file. So let's hop over into Blender. I'm using Blender 3.1. I remove the default cube and then go to File, Import, FBX. Now select your file and I created a preset for my Unity imports. And basically deselect the manual orientation, I'm not importing animation. And later on for the armature, make sure to enable automatic bone orientation. And then hit Import FBX. Focus on it. So here's our lamp. And if you are going to material preview mode, you see the lamp has the correct material on. If you go to edit mode and select the material, then you see it has the polygon office material on it. Now let's modify the lamp a little bit. I'm just scaling this up a little bit. Go back to object mode and then let's export this modified lamp. Select the lamp in the hierarchy go to export then FBX export and I also created a preset for that. Select your export folder. I'm directly exporting this to a subfolder of my Unity project. I only want to export the selected objects, only armature and meshes. Right now we don't have an armature on the static object but then it's very important on the transform select the forward, the Z forward and Y up and use space transform. This is important to get the right orientation of the object in Unity. So hit export to FBX and go back to Unity. So here's my import folder from Blender and obviously I forgot to give the lamp a meaningful name. Let's call it lamp modified. And what you see is it has exported the mesh but also the material. But this is the a different material than the original. If you want to use the original material, go to the inspector and then to the materials. And then here you can select your office material. Go to the office materials. Just put it in here and then press apply. And now if I move it in here, you see, first of all, we have the modified mesh compared to the original. It uses the correct material and it has the same orientation and scale as the original. Now let's look on how to export Cinti characters. Cinti characters come in different flavors and there are a couple of things you have to pay attention to. So this character is from the farm pack. And if you look at the prefab, you see a couple of things. First of all, the prefab itself has a scale of one. Then we have the root, that's the armature or the skeleton. Then we have our farm boy with the skin mesh renderer and the mesh. But we also have the other characters that come with the pack as inactive game objects. Important to note is that all these meshes have a scale of one here. And if I select the different objects here, you see they are not visible, but they all have the same transform position. Now let's select this character. This from the pirate pack. And again, you see the character itself has a scale of one. But if I select the character mesh, 
you see the scale is 0.01. So it doesn't have a unit scale. And what you see is the transform of this character is back here. And basically all the other characters have different positions. If you have that kind of character, you will find a so-called fixed scale character set coming with your Sinti pack. And here's the fixed scale character version of the same character. If you look at this, you have a unit scale of the character itself. If you select the mesh, you see it has a unit scale as well. And the transform position is here in the middle. And it's the same for all the meshes. So in this case, you want to export the fixed scale character and not the original one. And the last pitfall is if I select this golem, this character has a scale of three in all dimensions, but the character itself has a unit scale and also the transform is in the middle. Before you export this character, set the scale to one, export the character, and then if you import it back, set the scale back to three. Now let's export this character. I select it, go to export to FBX. Again, binary mode, I'm only exporting the model. Same as before. Here's my exported character and hop over into Blender. Let's delete the lamp, go to import FBX, and then I'm selecting the character. Very important set the automatic bone orientation and then hit import. Now this looks strange and this is something that a lot of people are confused when they try to import characters into Blender. But there's a quick fix for that. Select your root, go to animation and then you have the pose mode here. In the pose editor right click and select clear user transforms and that's it. Go back to the layout and you see it already looks much better. But the other thing is now all the meshes that have been exported are visible. So if I deselect the visibility, you see now we have the character as before in Unity. And also the correct material is already assigned. Now, if you want to export this character again, you have to be aware of a couple of things. First of all, only the visible objects will be exported. So if you only want to modify a single character, then just leave the single character active. If you modify it multiple, then you have to make them visible again. So let's stick to the single character, then go to root and select hierarchy to ensure that everything below that's visible is selected. Then go to file, export, FBX. And again, I have created a preset for the export. I'm only exporting the selected, the armature and the mesh. As before, make sure you have selected the Z forward and Y up and use space transform. I'm not exporting any animation and then export FPX this time. Let's give it a name. I call it boy. Export and then go back into Unity. In Unity, I'm going back to my import folder. I save the boy into the import folder. Then you have to go to rig, select animation type humanoid and select create from this model. Blender handles the avatar a little different to Unity. So you can't reuse the avatar that comes with the original model. So you have to create a new avatar by selecting apply. And as before, you can replace the material this is the farm material on this character. Just dropping this in here. Apply. And then I can move the imported character into my scene. I can assign an animation controller. Let's align the camera. Game object, align with you and press play. And you see the re-imported character works perfectly fine. So I hope this was helpful and now have fun modifying your models in Blender. Mm -hmm.